connecting Power BI to server data sources. Chances are if you're in an enterprise environment, you have an application or something where your data gets stored into a database. SQL Server, Oracle, Postgres, all of these different versions of SQL instances or databases are out there and you want to connect to those data sources to report on all of that valuable data that's in it. I get it. That's what the goal is after all. And that's what I want for you. I want you to be able to connect to those beautiful databases so that you can begin querying, pulling out the data, modeling the data, and then building beautiful visualizations. And again, Power BI gives us some insanely easy but powerful ways to get started with it. So let's launch Power BI and get going. In the last nugget, we learned about the Get Data button, and not too surprisingly, that's what I'm going to go back to. We're going to go ahead and give it a click, and it's going to bring up the Get Data window. This time I'm going to click on database and we're going to choose SQL Server database. That's what I'm going to work out of. But of course, if you have a different one in your environment, that's what you are going to choose. Like I said, I'm going to choose SQL Server and I'll go ahead and click connect right here. And it brings up the SQL Server database. Now, my SQL Server is called SQL Nug very simply. And we're going to talk about import and direct query in a later nugget, but for now I'm going to leave it on import. If I click on advanced options, you can see you can specify things like the database as well as timeout options and minutes and even give it some initial SQL if you wanted to run that uh, rather than going through the, the GUI which we're about to do. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this advanced options. We're going to stick to the basics of connecting the SQL Nug and choosing to import the data rather than using direct query. All right, and it brings up the navigator, which again, I can skew a little bit so we can see it a little bit better here. All right, that's almost there. All right, we're good. So we can see I've connected to the SQL Server and all of the databases that aren't system databases would be listed right here. I only have one, which is Wide World Importers, which is a Microsoft sample database. If I expand it, it shows me the tables. Now this part is really cool. If I choose, say, sales.customer, the customer table in the sales schema, I'll check it off and it'll preview these items right here. One of the things that Power BI already knows is the relationships and it checks the primary keys, the foreign keys, and it learns what all tables are related to each other. So what I can actually choose right here is select related tables and it will choose all of the other related tables to that sales.customers table that I chose so that it can pull in a bunch of relevant data already joined together for me. Now again, we have the option to either edit this in Power Query or load it. And for this demonstration, I'm going to choose load to load it into RAM so that we can begin building visualizations. And you can see it's actually loading all of these tables right now. Very cool. We'll go ahead and give it a second. You can see how quickly it does load all of this data from a remote SQL server. See, it's loading in thousands of rows right here. Look at this application cities. Roughly 38,000 rows right now. And just like that, we're loaded up. In this nugget, we learned about the slightly more complicated process of getting connected to a server data source. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.